from the dichotomy of them and our Native Americans. Our Native Americans stood about six foot two on average for the men. They were about 5% body fat. And they could die for three minutes. And so these guys were like the physical specimen, really good swimmers, really healthy. The reason, the way that you get to your height, your potential height, is you have to have a lot of protein, iron, fat, and uh, vitamin D, all right? These guys ate almost all protein and, and, and fat, and then they got iron from the shellfish, and in, Amer and in Florida, all you have to do is go out and do like this and spin around in a circle and get all the vitamin D you need. So they reached their height capacity. These guys had actually shrunk about three inches between the 1400s when they discovered the new world and uh, the 1700s. And what they did was they took corn back to, the, to Spain and to Southern Italy and they replaced wheat for a while. And eating corn all the time actually makes you not able to get protein and iron. And so they they got generational quashicorn shrank. So they were on average about five two one thirty five as full grown men. And it isn't it isn't that corn's bad for you. It's that the skin on corn is bad for you. And so the Native Americans used niche tomalization, which allowed them to evaporate the pericarp or skin, and that allowed them to get all the protein from it without the chemical process that blocked it. So these guys ended up tiny because they ate too much corn. Now the dichotomy again to that is the Maya are the only people who have shrunk in the last thousand years. And it's because they've gone away from their traditional diet into a more Western diet. And for the most part, are still poor.